This was one of those trips that got thrown together really last minute. You look nervous. Yeah, I am. <laughs> so nervous about this. So many things can go wrong. So, we're having some trouble here. I had no plan coming out here. I guess I just chill here for 15 minutes. And to top it all off, I've never really shot any car photos or videos before, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm kind of just making it up here. Something a little strange is happening today. I'm currently in an Uber on my way to a Porsche dealership because Porsche reached out to me and they asked me if I wanted to borrow a car for a couple of days and take some photos of it. So I'm pretty sure that this is the car I'm gonna be driving, which is kind of insane because like just looking at it, I'm scared of how fast it's gonna go. Okay. And you can use the recuperation braking to keep that distance. Okay. So it'll actively like charge the battery for you basically. Adaptive cruise control. Yeah, so just That's this cool. dial over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. All right, so Tom here at Porsche in Edmonton just gave me the rundown of this vehicle and it's absolutely insane. It's so much more than just a car. It's fully electric, so I'm gonna have to get used to that, figure out charging stations and that kind of stuff. My plan here is to drive down to Banff, which is like four and a half or so hours away, and meet up with my friend Matt Littlewood to take some photos of this car in the mountains. I thought that would be a cool way to get some cool photos, but it's supposed to rain all day in Edmonton and all day in Banff, both today and tomorrow. So we're gonna have to get a little creative with it. I'm not 100% sure how this is gonna turn out, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> okay, I grabbed everything I need and uh, it's time to hit the road. I've reached the first charging point that the car told me I needed to stop at. Now I gotta figure out what I'm doing. It looks like it's working, so uh, I guess I just chill here for 15 minutes. While we're charging, let's take a little tour of the inside of this car. There are three main screens. There's this one down here, which kind of has all of your like main controls. This is also a touch screen, so you can do your searching and whatnot up there. And then the third screen is like your instrument panel and you can customize this so it shows different things. So I can do traffic signs or G-force, which is a really cool one, unnecessary, but fun. Then of course, because it's a fancy fast car, we've got different drive modes. And then on this one where it said like assistance systems, that's some of the coolest stuff while you're driving. So if like you're on the highway and you turn on your cruise control, it will automatically slow down to match the person in front of you if you're too close to them. And you can kind of decide how close. That's nuts. And then it's also got like lane guidance. So if it notices that you're getting off of the lanes too much, it'll kind of nudge you back in. Then we've got heated seats. We've got cooled seats if your butt gets hot. Automatically regulated temperature control in your cabin. I mean, maybe none of this is super spectacular to people who are used to like having new and fancy cars, but this is bonkers to me. Just in case you were wondering if the nomadic Peter McKinnon travel bag would fit in the front trunk of a Porsche Taycan 4S, like a glove. I think I found a spot for a quick shoot before we get into Banff National Park. It's not raining too much here and the car's not too dirty, so hopefully these turn out okay.
Okay, I just spent like 15 minutes trying to find a stupid park pass to get into the national park. This little thing, and it fall in between the seat and the center console. But now we're actually gonna go. So I just pulled into Banff and I friggin' love this place. So there's my parking spot. And if I walk like 10 feet or so, Look at that. That's ridiculous. All right, you gotta check this out. It's magic. As beautiful as it is here, I have run out of light, so I think that's pretty much the end of my photo shooting of the car for the night. So I'm gonna go meet up with my friend Matt. We're gonna figure out uh, what we're gonna do tomorrow. It's uh, like 6.30 in the morning. We woke up at like 5.30 and Matt and I are getting ready to wash this thing so we can take some photos of it. This should be interesting. I think it's just gonna get dirty wherever we drive it, but we'll see. Do you wash your car at home? No. No? I mean, I do, but like <laughs> not with any like Quality. Obviously neither of us has washed a car in a while. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna go with the soap. I really don't want to screw up this car. Yeah, it's a good start. This is, <laughs> I think that's safe. You look nervous. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm so nervous about this. Funny enough, the minute we got out of the car wash there, it started to rain. I mean, at least it doesn't have dust all over it. I think originally we were hoping for sunrise shots, but what we're getting are pretty cool kind of misty, vibey. What other Instagram words can we use? Moody, moody. misty, vibey, moody. Yeah. Uh, and the nice. and the rain actually is working for us. I think the little sprinkles all over the car. Face though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Little moment to yourself. <laughs> I mean, the shot's nice. No one's gonna look at that because there's a car in it, but. Let's do Sony. I've got Matt shooting Sony. Shh, 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 shh. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I feel like I'm learning how to use a camera again. <laughs> Basically, we're just like driving around this loop. A couple of shots here and there. The backgrounds are pretty fantastic. Considering we didn't get our sunrise, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think these shots are gonna look more unique than a lot of the kind of like typical sunrise stuff. All right, early morning shoot, I think was a success. I yeah. think we got some good stuff, but uh, we were really, Really need some coffee to keep going. I can't hold those words. <laughs> thanks. Remember, things I'm not good at. Greetings. Oh, it is. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm sorry. Just puts his coffee on top of this $145,000 car. Oh, I don't get it all. <laughs> so. We're having some trouble here. We, we're trying to plan to head up the Icefields Parkway and get some shots kind of between Banff and Jasper, but the, the charging situation in this area is not necessarily super advanced. So we're trying to find where the fast chargers are on our potential route. It works really well when you have a very specific destination, but it doesn't work so well when you're like, not 100% sure where you want to go. Trying to sort this out so that we don't run out of battery and just get stuck on the side of the road. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, this is kind of stressful. Well, we'll figure it out. Yeah. 
All right, we think we figured out what we're gonna do. We have to drive up to Field, Yoho National Park, and they've got a faster charger there. And then that should give us a little bit more leverage as far as like where we can drive. Don't let me catch you with your hands up. Don't let me catch you with your guard down. Now you got no cards left to your deck. Now you got no sense left to your head. Okay. We have landed in field. We're in BC. We're in, we're in a different province now. And uh, we found our, our charging station. 40 minute limit, which is perfect because I think that should get us pretty much full. That's the fancy one. That's the not fancy one, I think. This is the fast charger. So on the other side, there's just one that looks like this, but this side, you pull that down, Ooh. you get double the Power, Double I the think. juice. Double the juice. Juice is up. Let's see if we can make this work. Are we walking home? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey! Nice. Green means good, right? Green means good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that made me really nervous. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. We managed to get the car charging. It's all just guesswork a little bit, but it says it's gonna be fully charged in an hour, but the max is 40 minutes. So we should get up to like 80% or 85% kind of thing. We're just looking for somewhere to uh, maybe get some food or something, but uh, there's not much going on here. Private property and train track. Okay, okay. I guess we go that way, because I clearly don't want us going down there. Beers? It's a little early for beers, man. Yeah, it's, only, <laughs> it's like, what a bus it's <laughs> we've been up for a while. I don't know if it's late on. <laughs> All right, Matt, how is your 14 to 18 dollar burrito. Uh, it's actually delicious. So that's five out of five stars for taste and one out of five stars for being the most expensive burrito, breakfast burrito that I've ever heard of in my entire life. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, we're all charged up, ready to go here. Kind of making a plan. We got our new friend Pete here. Pete's gonna be manning the gimbal. It's a Porsche Taycan 4S, fully electric. Really? Yeah. So listen, you got to be a celebrity if they let you drive that. Eh? Sorry, one more time. Sorry, you just popped in a frame of it. Yeah, that's good. It's a frunk, man. It's a frunk. The engine is just underneath, make, I think. It's like the whole that bottom of the car. I just made it up. Oh, that's dope. Okay, yeah, I'll grab the camera. <laughs> Do you want me to hop in the car with you and film you while you're driving as well? Yeah, so we'll get some maybe from the passenger seat and then we'll pull over and you can get in the back seat and we'll do some like kind of over the shoulder stuff. Sweet. I think that'll work. That's a wrap, man. Oh shit. We yeah, did it. So good to see you. Thanks again, fellas. See you later. See you later. Oh my goodness, what a day. I could not have done a quarter of what I did with the extra hands and the extra help. So thankful, but uh, I gotta get on the road here, so we'll talk in a second. So the dealership wanted the car back by six, but I just put in all the navigation and with the stops that I need to make for charging and stuff, it's basically gonna take me until 7.30 or so to get there. So I got to call Tom from the Porsche dealership. Hey, Dana, how's it going? Hey, Tom, I'm pretty good, how are you? 
I'm good, thank you. How's things with the Taycan? It's so good. I had this all planned out. I was like, if I leave by like two or 2.30, I should be back in time, but the navigation is now telling me that I'm probably not gonna be back till like 7.30. I could probably do it faster in this car, but you know, <laughs> obeying laws and whatnot, I might be a little later. I know you guys wanted it back by six, but- um, Yeah, all good. That's all good? Yeah, so what, what I'll do here is I'm actually going uh I just pulled up in Canmore to what will probably be my second last charging stop of the trip. And I thought this would be a good time to take a look back at what the heck happened here. This was one of those trips that got thrown together really last minute. Porsche reached out to me like a month ago, but I was just about to go on holiday. So as soon as I got home, I hit them back and said, hey, I've got a couple of days here. Can we make this happen? They said, yes, but I had no plan coming out here. The weather was supposed to be absolutely terrible the whole time. I didn't know if Matt was gonna be available, didn't have anything planned for the video side of things. And to top it all off, I've never really shot any car photos or videos before, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm kind of just making it up here. First and foremost, the car is so cool. I am not a car person in any way, shape or form, but as a fan of tech and as a fan of the kind of advancement of our society, society through tech, I am so intrigued by electric cars and specifically all of the kind of extras that come with this car, all of the technology that's built into it that makes it feel like it's basically a spaceship. So even if this trip only ended up being me driving to Banff and then back home from Banff, it probably would have been okay. It was so nice to have somebody else there that I could trust to just shoot the thing for me and I could just be kind of more of a talent or an actor, I guess. I could drive the car and I could kind of direct and give my ideas for what I was hoping to get out of it. And so I went from not having any kind of a plan to getting a whole bunch of content out of this and with something really cool like a friggin' $149,000 Porsche. Porsche. I know you're in the comments. Leave me alone. I gotta get back to the car because it should be pretty much charged by now and start heading back to Edmonton. So, oh, here's a train. Should we wait for the train? This could go on for a while. Literally the second that I got packed up and put my backpack on, the train was done. Anyway, I just wanna say a huge thank you to both Matt and Pete for coming out and helping me with this. A huge thank you to Porsche or Porsche Canada for uh, lending me this car. It was such a cool experience, something that I will definitely look back on with fond memories. And if I'm done the video, I'll, uh, I'll play it here at the end of this video. So thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on future videos. And I'll see you next time.